Good morning guys, it is Monday and I'm actually off work because it's a um, vacation day here in Sweden and it's very very nice because I'm tired. Travelling takes a lot of energy and, and a lot of things in my body. But yeah, I have been doing a whole bunch of things this morning. I've edited the video that is supposed to go up today, it was supposed to go up this morning but um, as we travelled yesterday, uh, I didn't have time to edit it. So that is edited and it's exporting at the moment, so that is very nice. Um, I have um, actually uh, finally got contact with a uh, company, a needle producer, a manufacturer of needles. Uh, so I'm going to get in a pretty big order. Uh, within a month it's still you have to think about it, its delivery time and it's um, so it's, it takes about a month to get things here um, but I should get the order processed and done like within a week so we'll have more needles then I still have needles up on the store I have 26 and 28 sizes and it's actually very 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 hard to find a good um, supplier of 28 needles um, so I'm, I'm still on the lookout for it but there is a big chance that I will not be able to kind of sell that size needles um, but I really really like these needles uh, so it's gonna be great to get that order in I'm actually also getting some fabric in from the same supplier and we'll see how that will work out. I have a whole bunch of ideas that I want to make with it. Um, might not start colouring fabric even though I really really want to do that because my boyfriend doesn't want me to colour things in our bathroom because we will have paint everywhere. Basically he's still a little bit shocked that most of the kind of plastic parts in our bathtub is pink because I colour in my hair pink now and then uh, so I probably won't be able but I'm, I am thinking about trying the the ice colouring thingy I have to get some an order of red in because you can't get it in stores or I haven't found it in stores here in Sweden so I have to order it online but it's not supposed to be that expensive so I'm thinking about getting some red and I'm gonna play a little bit with my fabric. I'm getting some 18 count white Aida in um, because I have some projects I want to make with 18 count Aida and I got it for a very good price. Hopefully it's a good, uh, good product. The only problem is that if I want more of it I have to order a lot. I mean, probably enough to fill up this complete room, and that I won't probably be able to do, but that's how it is. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to sit down and colour. I have to still uh, clean up the table, it looks really, really messy right now. I just left it on, um, on Thursday when we travelled. I just did my last video and I left it because I was so stressed. Uh, so now I'm going to just clean it up and I might sit down to do some colouring, do some um, actually posting on, on like Instagram and Facebook with all that but that's that's fun. I'm also going to edit yesterday's video um, but that will that will happen when it happened. So good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Well guys, it's time for bed, um, it's like half past ten and I should really go to bed because I'm going up to work tomorrow. I have been kind of going to and from the craft table all day, um, for, for two reasons, one being that sitting in this chair when it's, I'm in pain takes more energy than sitting in the sofa and the other one is we've been watching a TV show called Wicked Tuna 
It's about people who fish for tuna. And you could think that wicked tuna would be maybe not super fun thing to watch, but actually I really, really like the show and it's addictive in some strange way. So I kind of have have hard time hearing it out in the living room while sitting at the craft table because I want to see Wicked Tuna. Mm, yeah. So I've been going back and forth. I've done a lot of cross stitching. I think I'm I've probably done six to eight hundred stitches again. And and here's here's the thing. When I have like full day stitching and I do sit in the comfortable way with my um, lap stand and everything and I get everything organized especially when I don't have to change color that often I almost I think I'm, I'm up at around 200 stitches an hour even when having the wicked tuna uh, watching the wicked tuna so um, I've done a lot of stitching today I got a lot of stitches done even though I haven't sitting that many hours I also made a um, second card um, I made before I left for my for our little trip I made a whole bunch of cards one of those cards uh, is the card that's going up tomorrow or tomorrow for me today so when you see this it should have gone up already um, and that is this card, which is uh, Chasing Nova. It's the Make It Craft image. Really, really enjoyed colouring this. It's all soft colours and stuff. Um, and that is going up tomorrow because it's a Tuesday and Tuesday isn't a video day. So I'm putting that up. However, um, when I posted it in the group... Um, one of the gals like you have to show me how you did her hair because um, I told told them that I did the hair in a different way because I couldn't get the way I was usually doing my hair to look as I wanted I'm not putting any if it looked good or not it didn't look like I wanted it to look so I sat down today because I needed a video for Wednesday so I decided why not we make a make it crafty video for today so that I, I actually have done I've done the whole video I haven't edited it I need to do that but I can do that tomorrow because it's Tuesday tomorrow this whole week is gonna be lopsided as I didn't work today and, and everything but yeah um, I did that we went to Gothic Kitty so we've been gone for like three hours about three hours um, takes about an hour there we had dinner with my friend and then we went back so the kitties are home I'm really really happy because my kitties are home um, they're cuddly and, and cute and stuff so yeah and the third thing I've done today this I'm gonna show this excuse the dirty floor uh, if you see any of it uh, I have a lot of craft stuff just lying on the floor I did this it's a shoe it's nice. Uh, the kind of prompt over at uh, Instagram prompt for the uh, some odd girl photo challenge. Basically, you're supposed to take a photo every day in April uh, according to a prompt. You can kind of interpret it however you want to. You can take a photo of a shoe. You can do whatever. Today, it was a shoe. It was... Uh, Day six is shoe, and I don't want to take photos of my shoes because I have sneakers and kind of foot correct foot shoes for foot. You know the ones that sixty-year-old ladies usually use. Those are the ones I use because my um, I do have other issues than all the these things. Uh, I have a problem with the. Uh, cartilage in my foot so underneath uh, I can't I don't know the English word for it basically it grows a bit hard so uh, if I don't have comfortable shoes um, it gets pointy and it hurts and, and stuff so yeah 
I got that, so I have comfortable shoes. And on top of that, I actually um, hurt my wrist about like six years ago. And every time I take it, put high heels on, when I walked for a day in high heels, it hurts like insane. So basically, um, it doesn't really fill the heels. And when you have heels on, it breaks again. But yeah, um, I decided to sketch a shoe instead. So I went onto the internet and I actually googled high heels. <laughs> yeah, I googled high heels, went into the image search and I found that shoe, which is a Nike shoe, which looks awesome. I would love to have those shoes. I wouldn't be able to walk in them, but I would love to have those shoes. And then I sketched it and I used my light box and I did the line art and then I colored it with my Copics because I thought that would be fun. So um, that was what I've done this evening. Nothing more exciting. Right now I'm gonna head to bed, so good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Bye.